All right, check this out, guys. So my brother's got an S10. It's like a 92, right? Yeah. Yeah. 92, and I had another video. Haven't really posted it yet, but we took this 4.3 out of that truck, and that was a super hassle. We had to tear the whole front end apart to move the diff and stuff to get it out of there because the oil pan hits it everywhere and stuff. But anyways, just something for reference about, uh, like, their thrust bearing settings and stuff like that or the crank thrust. So this was a stick shift truck. And you'll notice back here, you can see like this is grooved out right in here, right? Because the that wore on it, so the crank. See if we can get it to do it here. I'll move it. Yeah, so the crank actually can like go back and forth really like quite a bit, right? So this is stick shift, so it kind of puts some weird load on this back here, but the the bearing has actually been like eating into the crank back here, and then because of the crank can flop back and forth like that. It's actually the main caps have been scraping on like the counterweights. See if we can find it. You can see it right there, right? Like over here. So it's scraping. And then if you look at like all the main caps have been like being worn on, you can see all like the wear marks in them. That's a good look too. You can look down and actually see the groove. Yeah. So that's pretty bad. Um, yeah. So all of them are, have this like wear mark on them because the crank flops back and forth basically so uh you know when you put a motor together you know it says there's specs for the thrust and all that so you might want to verify but that's kind of what happens when your thrust goes bad and you have too much your crank wiggles back and forth and eats up everything so just a reference there i guess for you guys maybe that'll someone will find this useful someday